In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made. Now is the Word. Well, beloved, I really thank God and I really bless His holy and wonderful name as we are entering into the Word of today. I'd like to talk on the topic of the um, end time grace to overcome, the end time grace to overcome. Uh, I'd like us to bow our head as I do lead us into prayer to prepare our heart to, 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 to receive the word of God today. Father, Lord, I want to bless your holy and wonderful name. What a grace and what a wonderful privilege for each one of us to be alive today. Many have died and many are dead. Many are perishing. Many are sick in the hospital. Many do not have the same grace and the same ability to come in your presence as we do today. In your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We want to thank you for the grace and the benefit we are constantly receiving as we do come in your presence we thank you for we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy and we are aware of the time and the season uh, under which we are right now we thank you for the spirit of Issachar that instruct us and give us the wisdom to understand the time my God and my King we want to commit this uh, word to your hands and as we do speak your word we believe in the mighty grace to overcome and to navigate the waves of the end time therefore lord we commit our mind we commit our heart we commit our uh, intelligence our reasoning our entire being our spirit our soul our body under the subjection of your word under the instruction of the holy ghost and we cry out to you for the grace to receive your word and let your word produces in us the very purpose purpose for which it was sent that is the grace to overcome to and navigate in this end time receive all the praise and all the worship and everybody say amen in jesus name amen amen amen, amen. hallelujah i like to talk about the grace to overcome today and the scripture I'm about to sh I want to share with you is found in the book of Revelation chapter 11 uh, chapter 12 verse 11 I'm reading for everyone and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they love not their life unto death hallelujah 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 well, beloved, you all know I have been talking about the end time for the past few days. And in, in, since the beginning of this fellowship, we always are aware uh, that we should talk about the end times. And, and we cannot talk about the end times without touching the very practical uh, changes that the world is going through. We've been talking about the vaccine, we've been talking about the mandates, we've been talking about the nations of the world, how the world is going into the one world government. We cannot separate those events of the world to the very end time, to the end time and the prophecies of the Bible when it concerns the end time. That is the coming of the uh, Jesus Christ, that is the coming of the Antichrist, that is the forming of the one world government. Everything, they are all connected so therefore a right prophet today have to be talking about the event of the end times hallelujah and uh, i believe every time we talk about the end times and we, if we are not truly loaded with the holy ghost we will have the feeling that we are speaking fears into the body of christ no we are not speaking fears the reason why jesus sent out prophecy thousands of years ago about everything we are seeing and living right now is because he want our spirit not to be afraid but to be prepared you, you are not scared of what you know is coming you will just prepare yourself to face what is to come and today I want to talk about the grace to overcome in this very end time hallelujah I am Amen. so excited. My God, I'm telling you, I feel a joy and excitement in my spirit. I can hardly contain myself. I can hardly explain what is coming on in my heart. My God, my God. Let me open a parenthesis right now. <laughs> 
Oh, God, give me the grace to flow with this message. My heart is so full of joy and so full of excitement. I'm trying to keep the rationale of my brain, but my blood is boiling up and excited about the presence of God, about the fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Christianity is not a religion. It's something tangible. It's something that we live. It's something that we experience. Oh my God, I bless the name of the Lord. I bless the name of the Lord. So beloved, I'm trying to contain myself. Why? The joy of the Lord is out. It's taking over my heart. And you know, when you are so joyful, you are so excited in joy, it becomes difficult for you to control the flow of your mind. And you know, and, and I just want to submit myself to the Holy Ghost. I don't know how the Holy Ghost is going to allow me to finish this message with the hierarchy I have in my mind. But I'm telling you, there is a wonderful grace. There is an overpouring grace that, that God has made available for the remnant church those of us who have decided to um, embrace the word of god who have decided to speak the uncompromised word of god who have decided to stand their ground uh that is the word of god that there is a wonderful grace that god is releasing in heaven to meet your spirit to meet your heart to empower you that will cause you not to be afraid of death uh, amen, let me go amen. back to this uh, to this portion. You know, the Bible says that they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their life unto death. <laughs> so, what is it that will cause you and me not to be afraid of dying? Those who will be able to say, I lay down my life because I refuse to be silenced. I lay down my life because I refuse. Uh, uh, to surrender as you refuse to submit to your dictate i belong to god my body is the temple of the holy ghost it is not a property of a government it's not a property of a system it belongs to god and i refuse to surrender and to submit to you i submit myself to the holy ghost those who will position themselves and who will love god so much and the bible said they overcome him because they love not their life unto death they are love God. There is a love of God released in the church right now that will cause you to stand your ground and say, no, I refuse to surrender. I refuse to submit. I don't care what you are going to do. I don't care if I lose my job. I don't care if I cannot travel. I don't care what is it. But my God, I surrender myself to the Holy Ghost and I follow his yeah. dictate, his dictate alone. It may take my life but i'm not afraid of dying they mm. overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony why because they love not their life even unto death i am speaking today on the topic the end time grace to overcome the end time grace to overcome now hear me very well. I'm asking the Holy Ghost the grace to allow me to complete this message. Mantu sete placasia alante pleto tu brahita kalama skinto lobrosia. There are some people on the line extremely tired. Marusko Praga asitele mahalusa. Your personal life. Your personal altar of prayer has been shaken by the enemy, but I feel a strong flow, the power of the Holy Ghost locate you and re-embracing you. Why? The grace to overcome the waves of the end time right now is available. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm speaking on the topic, the grace to overcome the waves, to overcome, to overcome the end time, the grace, the end time grace to overcome. Yes, 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 yes. Now, listen, let me go back and speak about the grace again. And I will never say this enough. I will never say this enough. Those who will overcome in this end time will be the one totally packed 
package uh, with the revelation of the grace of God. Some of us, we do understand that we are not accepted by God because we are so good. But we are good because God made us good. Whatsoever good that could be found in your life is the product of the grace of God. Without the grace of God, you cannot survive one day. Even your faith in God cannot stand one day without the grace of God. The grace of God is what keeps you. The grace of God is what drawn you to him. The grace of God is what, is what empowers you to become who God wants you to be. The grace of God is what gives you the ability to be sanctified and to be accepted, to have an acceptable life. The grace of God is that provision that God has made available before the foundation of the world for you and for me that is accessible by faith. We do believe we will overcome the grace at the end time because the grace, the grace has been released already. He said that, 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 that he who called us is faithful enough to preserve us. We believe in him and we access that grace. And you are not strong because you are so strong. No, you are strong because the grace has been given to you to be strong. You overcome because the grace has been given to you to overcome. And that is the first thing I want to say about the grace of God. The grace of God is something that has happened already. We have been healed Amen. already. We have been delivered already. We have been sanctified already. We have been blessed already. Everything that God has done is in eternity. And when it comes to this world, it's referred in the past tense. God is not sitting down and planning to save you. He has saved you already. God is not sitting in heaven now and planning, I'm going to bless that. No, you have been blessed already with all the blessings in the heavenly places. The, pl the, 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 the plans of God for you, the provision he has made for you before the foundation of the world is enough to carry you through whatsoever the enemy is doing against you, he will not prevail on, if only you position yourself under that grace. The grace is what God has done already. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's why we worship him. We praise him. We surrender to him. We be excited in him. Why? He has done it all. We cannot take credit out of nothing. We are blessed. It is his grace. We are prosperous. It is his grace. We are sanctified. It is his grace. We are strong. Is the grace of God. Nothing but the grace of God. We are who we are. As the apostle Paul said rightfully. By the grace of God. And the last Bible verse, may the grace of God be with you. That's the last Amen. Bible verse. Amen. Amen. The message of the grace Amen. must be constant in your spirit. Why? Because there is a quality of the presence of God that can only stay in your life when you are constantly worshipping God by the revelation of his grace, by the revelation of what he has done already for you before you were even born. That is the kind of presence that maintains you in this end time. There's a kind of presence that you can only experience when you understand the power of his grace the provision that was made by God for you before you were even born Hallelujah. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never oh. share your glory with anyone. Let me sing that song again because it's full of Amen. it is full of revelation. You see, you see, you see, it's really, it's really a package of revelation. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory yes. with anyone. Are you, yes. are you, are you, do you aware, are you aware of that? You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Almighty Jehovah, oh, that is your name, Daddy. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Hey! 
the grace to overcome in this end time is available to the church god does not share his glory with anyone if one moment you think you are good or better than your neighbor or better than your friend uh, because you <laughs> because of you you are pushing away the grace of god and you will not survive the end times those who will survive the end times are those who understand the grace of god that has been made available to them that has caused them to be who they are to become who they have become and it will create in your heart a level of worship a level of praise that will maintain you in the kind of presence of god that will create a joy and the, the, the happiness the, the, the pleasures in your heart and you will be willing to lay down your life because you cannot deny your experience with God what others are looking in drugs what others are looking in pleasures what others are looking in money you have great than those things in the corner of your house wherever you are located what gold cannot give you what silver cannot tell you the level of pleasures that cannot be explained is constantly flowing in your heart causing you to worship God for you have what gold cannot give and is maintaining you in the kind of presence and you won't be able to deny Christ you say no no I'm willing to lay down my life it is so real he is so real he is so tangible he's so evident the fear of death get away from your life mm -hmm. and the grace to overcome is overtake is taking over your life I want you to know that God have not saved you to leave you in the way I don't care how challenges you're facing right now maybe you are crippled in your walk with God maybe you are not having the life you expect to have I don't care but if you know that God have called you if you know and understand that there is something there is something that God's I, I, about God in you if you know that you have been saved by his great as he called you not the religion but you have an experience with God I am can guarantee you that he holds you in your in his hand and nothing shall by any means take you out of him it is just a matter of time if only you can surrender to his grace and cry out oh God it was never because of me that I was having the life I used to have oh God I need more of your grace oh God I need okay. more of your grace without you I can do nothing when Amen. you become humble in your heart and you cry out and you reach out to him the grace of God is available to make Amen. you uh, uh, to, 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 to make you to give you the life that God accepts of you to allow the life of Christ to flow through you the grace is available whatsoever Amen. is going on in the world what is keeping the joy of the spirit gushing out from you every single day is the grace of god the world is saturated with bad news we had the covid yeah. then we have the second delta now we have the omicron and then the others are coming i don't care what is coming there's all kinds of bad news out there but when you get into the presence of god my god and you start worshiping god you start there something you cannot explain saturating your life when everybody is checking everybody is panicking there is a grace of his presence maintaining amen. you at amen. peace amen. Amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen. god is present in your life do you think it's because of you no, I can't believe with everything that is get is going out there. All the news uh, that, that the devil is pouring down. We have, you know, abuse to say now today. I don't even open television anymore because if I feel that television is down the mouth of the devil to spread, to spread 
fear around the walls with everything that is going on with all the calamities that the world is facing what is causing you to be happy what is causing you to be joyful what is causing you to to to, to be strong is the grace of god mm -hmm. that is the grace of god hallelujah 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 and that's why when you understand the grace of God and, and you know that you have to abide in the presence of God because of his grace what is going on is you are not limited by a building I will share the other time about the relation between the sicknesses the the, 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 the great sicknesses the attack of our physical body uh, as the people of the world and, and with the church we spoke about HIV we spoke about cancer and, and the revelation what it means it represents uh, um, uh, as the attack against the body of Christ we shared that and I spoke about the COVID and I said COVID is simply an attempt to silence the church to isolate and silence the church isolate and silence the, the try oh no 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 you know you, you can't come together <laughs> you know that's why when COVID started about a year uh, the Lord asked us to start the fellowship online fellowship we actually I'm preparing now for the celebration of one year <laughs> God is not limited by the building and the world is about to realize that greater power is always available we cannot stop the church the church cannot be silenced in the comfort of your room in your closet there is enough grace available to download heaven on earth Amen. and to have Amen. the experience of God greater than a building can provide we are not stoppable we cannot be silenced come on <laughs> be silent and we will not be silent why the grace is available the provision to travel the provision to to navigate the provision to the provision to go through this end times has been made available for you and for me before the foundation of the world nothing surprises god everything we are living today was written thousand years ago it was known by god from eternity so therefore god who loves you had already arranged all things made everything available for you to navigate this time do not be afraid do not be scared ah uh, with what is coming on no, do not be afraid the grace is available to navigate you just need to cry out to god oh god give me your grace i cannot do without you i cannot go through this time with my own abilities holy ghost i need more of you more of the empowerment of the holy ghost the grace is available accessible to the humble god resists the proud but he gives grace to the humble Amen. as long as you believe you can do it yourself forget about the grace Amen. hallelujah Amen. thank you jesus beloved i'm telling you the flow of the message today you know i'm sometimes very hierarchy prepared. you know it has nothing to do with what i plan they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony hallelujah mantolo prosita hey shapa I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this message in 30 in 30 minutes as planned. Ah, uh, the time is coming. We said we're going to have now a fellowship. I still have about five minutes to go. <laughs> but I am about to touch a dangerous topic. Hi, dangerous topic. That is <laughs> the blood of the Lamb. Mm. Amen. The blood of the Lamb that overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Manta, manta. Hey! Woo! I feel 
Hello, my God, I am right now located in my basement. There's no, no nobody around. <laughs> but I feel an electricity just mentioning the blood of Jesus Christ. Ooh, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> The blood of the Lamb, the blood of the Lamb. I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, that we have been sanctified by His blood. The blood is the price that has been paid for you to be reconciled to God. Without the blood, without the blood, none of us is qualified to stand before God. It's only by the blood. The blood is constantly flowing over you. Because you are a child of God, there is a blood, the blood of the covenant, the blood that covers you when God looks at you he doesn't see you he sees Christ in you you are dead to God but Christ lives in you and by his blood you are constantly washed and constantly cleansed and constantly purified so we have overcome by the blood when the enemy was trying to locate you to see where how to strike you how to destroy you you were covered by by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Mete. Hallelujah. You see, we have to understand why we overcome. It's the blood. Mm -hmm. The blood and the blood. That's the reason why every time you come before God, I stand before his throne and I say, Oh God, <laughs> if it was not by your blood, I would not be qualified to stand before you today. You are so pure. You are so clean. You are three times holy. The level of your holiness has been achieved by Christ and imputed to me by your grace. And therefore I can come boldly in his presence. When you call upon the blood, all accusation is silenced. All condemnation is destroyed. Every ground the enemy had, every curse is destroyed. The blood of the Lord justifies you. Amen. The price Amen. has been Amen. paid. Amen. And they have overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. Never leave out of your mind the blood. And we take communion yeah. because we have to remind ourselves of the covenant of the blood. The covenant that we have with God was established by the blood of Jesus Christ. That covenant was Amen. established by the blood of Jesus Christ. A pure blood. Mm. Without spot and wrinkle. Mm -hmm. The universe and the covenant and the blessings and the curses are governed in the new earth realm by the blood. I don't have time to get into it. And that's the reason why even in the secret societies, in witchcraft is all about the blood. They sacrifice chicken, they sacrifice goat. Sometimes they go further and they even kill children. They want some blood. They want some blood to get some little, little, little power. But the blood that we have, the blood that that we drink oh my god i drink the blood of jesus christ yes go and say what you want to say i drink this blood i drink his blood go and drink the blood of the chicken or whatever blood you want to drink me i drink of his blood and i eat amen. of his flesh oh amen. my god amen. Amen. it is a mystery hallelujah amen. yes praise the lord Hallelujah. I want you to unmute your phone where you are. I want you to join your voices to mine to really give me a believing amen to agree amen. with me for the blessings amen. of the blood. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> we bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me go. Let me move forward. The time. My time is all. I said five. I still have about five. Three minutes left. And by the word of their testimonies. Amen. Do you know why the enemy is trying to silence you and to silence me and to silence the message of the cross? Because he understands that he is defeated every time we give the testimonies of the Lord. 
And COVID is a sign. That's why you have to. The, the, the sign of COVID is cover your mouth and isolate yourself. No, don't talk to nobody. Don't speak about Christ. Don't preach about that name anymore. No, no, no. Stay silent. Close your mouth. No. I refuse to stay silent. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I have been too forgiven to be quiet. I have been too safe to be silent. Oh my God. I want to speak about the goodness of the Lord and I will proclaim his testimonies in my life. I am who I am today by the grace of God. You like it or you don't Amen. like it. I will not be quiet. God give me the boldness to speak the testimonies of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of his testimony i'm going to close with this i want you to put one of your hand in your heart right now the greatest blessings in anyone's life in this end time is given by the presence of god is the supernatural invasion of the presence of god in your heart that is causing you to love him mightily that is creating the flames of love erupting from your heart you know we don't preach because we know we have to preach we preach because we we, we can't help but preach it is too on your heart is too on fire your heart is too saturated with God you are so madly in love with him this is the kind I'm going to call upon your life as you do agree with me right now my God and my king everywhere you are under the sound of my voice listening to me now or in the future I am speaking over your life right now I am speaking over your life right now to the flames of the Holy Ghost, the love of God to locate you where you are, to embrace your heart. The next time you open your mouth to praise the name of Jesus Christ, I decree over your life the flames and the fragrance of heaven, the presence of God to saturate you around. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel any demonic attempt to silence you any demonic attempt to destroy you any demonic attempt to kill you in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. as it is written you overcame by the blood I position you under the blood of Jesus whatsoever calamity is coming in the world to destroy or to kill it will not come near you neither to your family in the name of Jesus I cancel any demonic plan of the enemy against you and your family and I uproot from your life any seed demonic seed to destruct of destruction in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah we bless his holy name we are going to be faithful with the time and pass one minute and I uh, just want to encourage you now, no one of us is about, uh, he should be missing the future meetings. I told you that when God called me, uh, I spent about a year, a year, in retreat. I was asking God, what is my job description? I'm coming from the, the, I'm a, I was coming from the, uh, the, 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 the corporate world. I said, what is my job description? What am I supposed to do? So, so, so what am I supposed to do? Uh, and, and, and. And how am I supposed to do it? Those are the questions I was asking. And for one year, God taught, gave me 200, about 200 messages. I concealed them into books. And I knew it was not a time to release them. I started last week, uh, the last three days of fasting, the Lord led in my heart to start opening the book. And I'm telling you, since I've been started speaking that, something strange is coming down over me. Oh my God, something strange. I believe that God had sealed those things for such a time. Everything we see now, I saw it. The calamities in the world, I saw it. The end time, I saw it. I saw the attempts and the, the, the battles that the enemy will, will, will fight against the church. Everything we are living currently, I said that with all humility in my heart. Why am I saying that I love you too much for, for you to miss anything that heavens are, or have ordained for you, for your blessings, for your protection, for, for your victory in this very end time? So 
in this season i want to tell you no one is uh, should offer himself the luxury to miss a meeting so now we don't do all those cheatings all the time uh you know on, on videos we have to come on the prayer line why because we put emphasis on prayer prayer is the only the only prescription for our daily survival in the end times it is written watch therefore and pray always for you to be accounted worthy to escape all these things and to stand before the son of man when he comes this is the reason why one of the greatest the revelation i have the greatest treasure i wait on the time of prayer those who are seeking god to be empowered by him those who love god so much to abide in a place of prayer you know not to come to be entertained by TV or television. No, you seek God. This is where God is releasing his treasures, you know? So I want Amen. to encourage you to reconnect with the platform of prayer, to download from heaven what has been made available for such a time. God bless your heart. God bless you. Amen. And back to you, I think amen. it's um, Sister Patricia. Amen. Everybody say amen. amen.